life, culture and current events from a biblical perspective. 2020 with Neil Johnson on Vision. You may have caught the disturbing and tragic news this morning of the two young police officers executed in cold blood at a Queensland property yesterday afternoon. There will be grief in the community today. Uh, Some names, Constable Rachel McCrow, 26, and Constable Matthew Arnold, 29, were gunned down at the property near Chinchilla in the western Darling Downs. That's just a few hours west of Brisbane. A neighbour, now identified as Alan Dare, was also shot and killed in the attack. A siege situation ensued at the property and specialist police officers and Pol Air responded The incident reportedly ended in a gunfight, with police shooting dead three suspects, including some brothers. Police had been at the scene regarding a missing person who had disappeared from Dubbo in New South Wales earlier this month. Well, you might be wondering what's happening on the ground in Chinchilla today. Lee Dalman leads the Country Hope Church in Chinchilla. Uh, He's on the line with us. Hi, Lee. Welcome along. Hi, thanks a lot. Uh, Lee, not the best news for us all to be greeted by this morning, but especially in your community, how were you feeling when that news broke early this morning? Yeah, well, it's it's been ongoing since yesterday evening when we heard there was something happening, and I know for myself, um, I was in contact with the local council late last night. I got no sleep last night as we waited the outcome, and this morning it's shock and grief in our community, uh, a lot of hurting people. Lee, you've already begun to implement something of an action plan. Sometimes people wonder what happens in local churches when there are tragedies like this that hit. Give us some insight into the sorts of things you've been actioning. Yeah, well, our community is a small community and um, we've obviously worked with council previously um, during the uh, floods that happened in the last decade. So, uh, we, we were well known to council and so we contacted them straight away and through the council also um, offers of assistance to the Queensland Police Service um, who have obviously been active in our community the last 12 hours. So through official channels we've done that but also through the local community forum on Facebook um, we've put an offer out there uh, for anyone that needs to chat or would just like to come down to the church space to, to come and um, chat to someone or just to reflect And so that's also out there in the community. And already this morning I've talked to and prayed with uh, a few people who aren't even church attenders who are just rocked by this tragedy and going somewhere for hope, I guess you could say. So, yeah, we're doing whatever we can through official channels, but also just in our local community as well. You're also working with your local council and with the police service and you've offered some of your facilities there. How would that work? Uh, So... We've we've got a, a brand new facility really, and we built it with a with um, the the aim of making it a community facility. And so, obviously, when when something like this happens, the police need space um, for any any uh, officers or uh, police people who who are coming for this event. So we offer space, we offer facilities um, that they can use, and with the council. Um, it's much the same thing. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of media here now and there's a lot of people coming to town. So um, space is a big thing. The local cultural centre is being renovated at the moment. So there's no council space available. So we've made our church available um, for media, for police, for whoever come to town. And also just um, on a personal note as well, um, I know all the councillors and, and the mayor and, and we're quite well known in town. So uh, over the coming weeks, um, we'll be providing support through our counselling service for people in our community as well. And we'll get referrals um, from local community members and from the council. So, yeah. As you say, what we can. it is a small community and everyone's connected. But uh, you've got your digital connections too. Uh, you've even yeah. got a, a community forum that's happening there for uh, those yeah. community members might be concerned, be able to connect you with, yeah. with you on Facebook. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Our local community forum is a big part of our town. Uh, Any events that are happening, well covered in the community forum, and most people are part of that. And so that's been quite active, as you would imagine, over the last 12 hours. And so we've, um, from the Country Hope Church, we've just injected that that thought of hope and, and supporting one another. And 
we've had a great response from that as well, just people responding, just wanting to reach out. To, and I think it's important as a community that we chat, that we support one another, that we come together. And so that offers that. And it can be done either digitally or in person if someone wants to come in. And Lee, as a Christian minister of the gospel, uh, you're regularly dealing with issues around grief and loss. Uh, this might be a bigger scale than you've dealt with before. Uh, how are you hoping that, that you'll be able to be a, a, a shining light, a minister of the gospel in the, the darkness of the circumstances in your town today? I think for us, um, we've actually had a few uh, tragedies in our town in the last 12 months, and so this is yet another one. It's probably bigger uh, when it, with regards to media and stuff, but I actually did a, a funeral for a soldier who died in Afghanistan 10 years ago, and that was bigger than this. So um, handling the media and, and also in the community, um, reaching out to people, it's just what we do, and so we're prepared to do whatever we can to reach people and to offer hope. Uh, well, Lee, if you don't mind, uh, let me pause and uh, perhaps say a prayer for you and for the Chinchilla community. Is that okay? Yeah, that's, that's great. Thank you. It's appreciated. Well, thank you, Lord. We'll humble our own hearts, and even in the midst of tragedy, uh, Lord, we'll call upon you, your strength and your empowerment, You'll love to be embracing every member of the Chinchilla community, asking, Lord, for your special inspiration and ability and, uh, Lord, a vitality in Lee as he approaches the day ahead, as he communicates with the Western Downs Regional Council and is in communication with the police service as his church is opened for people who are grieving today, asking, Lord, for your special blessing to come upon Lee for that strength and that encouragement for the entire Chinchilla community. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we appreciate the prayers of everyone around Australia who's listening today. Well, Lee Dalman is the pastor in Chinchilla at the Country Hope Church. Lee, thank you so much for sharing your heart with us today on 2020. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au.